Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to the Red Oak Barn. Come on into our kitchen here. We have a wonderful introductory video for you guys today. This is gonna be introduction to canning. So welcome to introduction to canning. So the first thing uh, we're gonna jump right off into is uh, the type of canners. So typically most people use two different types of canners. The first one is gonna be here, which is our pressure canner, okay? This is something that uh, typically people use for more advanced level uh, types of canning, which we'll get into. But today we're just gonna talk about the water canner, which is more common uh, in terms of doing canning. So that's gonna be over here. This is our water canner. I actually have this going with some items in here. I'm gonna show you guys those uh, in just a little bit. But if you'll go with me, let's come on over to this side. I wanna show you guys some important things. Um, in the beginning when you're beginning your canning process. So you want to make sure that you have a nice, um, you know, have enough surface space to do your canning. So you want to have a clean surface, make sure you've sanitized it and you've disinfected uh, your countertop. Make sure you have things out of the way so that way you have plenty of room to work. So the next thing we're going to get off into is our jar sizes. So typically uh, these are mason jars. These are mason jars. These are the types of jars that are used for canning. So you want to make sure that when you go and buy your jars, and you can find them in your local grocery stores, um, things like Walmart, you can find them there. You want to make sure that your jars come like this. This is called a band. So this is the band, right? And this is the actual lid. A lot of times some companies will actually print the uh, date on there. So there's space where you can actually write or place a sticker there. Uh, to label your items, okay, and then you can actually put the dates. So you always want to name and date your items for whatever it is that you're canning, so that way you know when you've made it, and you can know how long uh, you have to uh, eat the item that you've made. So these are your two band and lid. This is your mason jar. This is a type of jar that is used for canning and pressure canning, okay? Uh, this is a one quart or a 32 ounce uh, mason jar, okay? So mason jars do come in different uh, sizes. The next size down will be our 16 ounce. We have an eight ounce jar and then uh, smaller we have is a uh, four ounce jar. There are some other uh, different jar shapes and sizes out there, but we're just gonna cover these four uh, basic sizes here. The quart, 16 ounce, eight ounce, and then our four ounce jar, okay? So those typically um, are what people use for jams, jellies, fruits, vegetables, and things like that. So the next thing you also want to make sure that you have is your canning tools. So if you look here, I've got these all laid out for you guys here. These are your canning tools. This is what you're going to use to do your canning. So the things that you're going to need, which are your essentials for working with your uh, items, are going to be your funnel. Okay, It's just a, a basic plastic funnel. It has an opening that's big enough to fit into a standard size opening, which this is. This is what's called a standard or regular size mouth opening for a mason jar. So it's designed big enough to be able to fit in here and it also goes in the wide mouth, which we'll show you in a later video about wide mouth uh, jars. So this is your funnel. This allows for you to direct your food into your jar without making a mess or uh, possible injuries. The next thing you want to have, which is an essential, is your tongs. So these are two different types of, uh, actually here. These are two different types of tongs. So you have uh, this type of tong, which is like a basic kitchen tong. And then you also have your jar tongs. So this is what you use when you're going to lift your hot jars. What I typically do, I stick my jars in the oven. So um, we'll touch on sanitization in a little bit. But you always want to use this to lift your jars out of your uh, oven okay, or out of your hot space where you have them sanitized so that you don't get burns, okay? So the next item is going to be our jar lifter. So once you have your items in your canner and they're boiling and they're ready, you want to use this with the grippers. This is equipped with rubber grippers and you also have plastic handles here. So typically you're going to reach for your jar like this and grab it out of your water, which I'll show you in just a minute here. So we're going to go ahead and um, introduce our next tool, which is going to be our magnetic tool. Now, this is um, a tool that you use to lift your lids. So 
and it works just like this. So see, it has a magnetic end to it and it picks up your lids because during the process, one of the basics that um, you need to have done before you put your food in is to make sure that you put your bands and your lids into boiling water, which is what I typically do. I'll put them in some boiling water and the boiling water will sterilize your lids and your bands. So in order to lift them out of there, you want to use your magnetic tool so that you don't burn yourself. So the next tool that we're going to introduce in our arsenal is going to be our, um, you can call it like a little bit of a uh, spatula, okay? So this spatula is kind of like what we use to kind of stir. It gets rid of air bubbles. There's also something that you can use to pack down when you're doing um, fresh packing of vegetables or fruits. This, you can use both ends. This one has a rounded end, this one has teeth on it, where you can actually get rid of air bubbles, you can actually create room around and pack your vegetables and your produce, um, when you're, we'll cover that in a later segment, uh, down into the jar so that way it fits a little bit better without introducing your fingers into uh, your jar because you want to maintain sanitation. So that is our tools. I'm going to bring you on over, as I promised that I would do, and show you how to use the jar lifter. So if you want to come on over this way, I'll show you how to lift the jar. So you always want to use a towel or a pair of uh, oven mitts to lift this off. Okay, that way you don't burn yourself. You're going to open up your jar lifter and you're going to grab it just like this, like so and get it with a firm grip. You want to make sure that you have a nice firm grip on this, otherwise you may drop it and you risk uh, injuries. So then after you lift it and you drain off the excess water, bring it on over to a clean towel, okay, to rest right here. So if you're doing more than one jar, you have multiple jars, you want to make sure that you give each jar enough space so that they can cool off on their own in their own space, that way the jars are not too close to one another. Okay, and that will conclude our video today from Red Oak Barn on canning basics.